The Jets had a lot of young players play really well for them in the preseason opener against the Giants. And one of those players was number 44, Jamie and Sherwood, the fifth round rookie out of the University of Auburn. And Jamie and Sherwood made four plays in this game that really stood out to me. And so I just wanted to break them down, evaluate them, and ultimately just show you guys what it is that I saw. And the first play we're going to look at is on the kickoff team. Kickoff formation here, five guys to the left of the kicker, five guys to the right of the kicker. Each guy is going to be designated a number from one to five on each side. And Jamie and Sherwood is this player right here. He's playing the R4. And so the R4, he's on the right of the kicker. And he is one, two, three, four. He's the fourth guy in from the sideline. And he's really perfect for that four spot because that four spot is usually occupied by a bigger, faster, more physical player. And so I think that fits his skill set really well. And responsibility wise, each guy on the kickoff team is responsible for a lane as they run down the field. And so they each have their own lane and you want to maintain your lane. And so ball is kicked, you're maintaining your lane. And the second piece is you want to converge on the ball. So the ball is kicked in the middle of the field and the returner is going to take this to the right. And so as you've maintained your lane down the field, you see where the returner is going to go. Now you converge on the ball and you could tell that's exactly what these three Jets players on the kickoff team are doing. Denzel Mims here, he's converging on the ball. Jamie and Sherwood here, he's converging on the football. But the third piece is avoiding contact. This blocker on the kickoff return team is going to try and block Jamie and Sherwood. Now that's a difficult task. Reason being is there is so much space for the kickoff man to work with. And so Jamie and Sherwood has to identify who it is that is trying to block him and how he can avoid that contact to get to the ball carrier. And Jamie and Sherwood does a really nice job of giving a nice little sidestep, a quick move sidestep, leave the blocker reaching for him. Ultimately, he avoids that contact. That blocker does not lay a hand on Jamie and Sherwood. The last piece, make a play. And that's exactly what Jamie and Sherwood's going to do here with a massive hit on the return man. And he does a great job, A, avoid the contact, B, break down here. You can see he's ready. He's in a stance where he's ready to deliver a hit. Three, make your presence known. Make the big hit. This creates value for two things. One, the rest of your team, as the defense is getting ready to go out in the field, you give them spark, you give them some juice. Two, it creates value for you as a fifth round rookie. Biggest piece, be versatile. Be able to play special teams. Make the team in one way or another, whether that's as a starter on defense or that saying, hey, I can contribute on special teams and be a difference maker. And I can be a difference maker because I can make a hit like that. If you didn't, know who number 44 on the Jets was when you were watching this play in real time, chances are you probably were going to ask yourself, who is that player? Who is number 44 on the Jets? And that's what you have to send message-wise to the coaching staff. When they're in that meeting getting ready to make the cuts, as a fifth-round rookie, you want those plays on tape where you end up making them say, we cannot let go of this player. We have something that we can work with here. And so off to a hot start, first play for Jamie and Sherwood showing value on special teams with a big hit. It was noticeable. 
Um, and, and I thought it was a great start for him to get himself out there on tape. Now, the second play, the Giants are going to come out in a two tight end set. This is going to be a 12 personnel. They have one running back, two tight ends. And the Jets are going to come out. You know, there are four defensive linemen. We have three linebackers. And then we have a safety that's down in the box as well. One safety back here somewhere. And then two corners. And Jamie and Sherwood, I'm going to designate him as the Mike. Even though... It, you know, in initial look at the play, the strong side is to the boundary. That's where the two tight ends are. And so we do have a, a, a safety over the top of the two tight end side or the strong side. My, my thought process there was maybe we put the linebacker over there and we take the safety and we put them to the two wide receiver side. But that's how, that's how it, it, it looks right now. And with that, with our three linebackers, I'm going to designate Jamie as the Mike. And what the Giants are going to run is a screen pass to this wide receiver. I'll designate him as the number one. And for Jamie and Sherwood as the linebacker here, the Jets are in a zone. So when you're in a zone, eyes are on the quarterback. So you want to read, you want to recognize And then you want to speed to the football. You want to fly to the football. And in the in in the screen game for the Giants here, this right guard is going to try to get to the second level. The right guard is going to try to get to Jamie and Sherwood. So his job, don't get blocked. React in enough time to where you do not allow that guard to get up to the second level and put hands on you. Because the Giants' hope is the right guard gets hands on the linebacker. We have a one-on-one here. He makes a block. And we put our receiver one-on-one with a corner who's going to wind up coming down from his deep his deep third. And hopefully he can beat him or just get a nice game. And so for Jamie and Sherwood, he does an excellent job of reading... A, the quarterback, he shuffles as the quarterback turns to the field to make the throw. And the ball is, you know, I guess it's halfway there. And Jamie and Sherwood is getting on his horse there. You could probably even see him react probably a little bit earlier as the ball is about a quarter of the way there. And Jamie and Sherwood's getting ready to to go down um, and run down down the, the receiver on the screen. And... At this point in time, two important players for the Jets' defense. The corner, Brandon Eccles, and Jamie and Sherwood, the linebacker. So they, uh, Jamie and Sherwood has inside-inside call, and Brandon Eccles has the outside-outside call. Brandon Eccles is important here because you do not want to let this receiver get outside of you. If he gets outside of you, the only friend that you have is the sideline, and that means you have no friends at all. If you have outside leverage, you force that receiver on the screen inside. And you have a whole heck of a lot of more friends out on the inside here, including number 44, your your Mike linebacker, Jamie and Sherwood. And for Jamie, once that receiver now notices he can't get to the outside, he comes inside. You're in perfect position to make the play. And that's exactly what he does. He makes initial contact. And he brings down the ball carrier with the help of uh, Zuniga, I believe that is, who came in uh, off the DN spot. Probably, you know, the criticism or the critique here for Jamie and Sherwood probably, you know, break down. I mean, listen, that wide receiver can dance and do whatever he wants. One yard past the line of scrimmage all he wants. Um, That's fine. Uh, You know, maybe you just want to break down and make a more sound tackle. But keys... um, For Jamie and Sherwood here, the reason I like the play so much was the read and react. Playing with speed, you know, speed just doesn't mean you're 40 times straight line down the field. It means what can I do uh, to get to the ball as fast as I can? And part of that is to read, react, and then use your speed to get to the ball carrier and make a play. And so Jamie and Sherwood, 
nice tackle here on the screen pass to uh, to make the play for for a gain of three. And so third play, we've seen the kickoff return where he makes the big hit. We saw the read and react to make the contact, keeping inside leverage on the wide receiver screen. Doesn't let the guard get up to the second level and blocks him. He uses his play speed to make the play um, and get some help from the rest of the gang. Third play is probably a play that everyone's going to be familiar with um, because it starts with our two young linebackers, Jamie and Sherwood and Hamza Najaldeen. So Giants come out in a twins formation out of the gun, two receivers to the field, a tight end and a receiver to the boundary. Ball is on the seven first and goal. And the Giants are just going to run an inside run. And we got four down linemen, five DBs, two linebackers, Jamie and Sherwood, and Hamza Najuddin. And what made this play great for Jamie and Sherwood is when the Giants run the inside run, the center is going to help on the, the defensive tackle with the left guard and then get to the second level to try to block Jamie and Sherwood. And so Jamie and Sherwood now, A, has to recognize the run and come up, but two, he's going to be engaged this time with a offensive lineman. So his job is going to be engage, shed, find the ball carrier, make the play. And that's exactly what he does here. He recognizes the run, he now comes up. He engages with the center. He sheds the block and the center winds up on one knee and he now finds the ball carrier and makes the play contact and he wraps up right here. Now at this point is when Hamza Najaldeen comes in, helmet, face mask on the football to jar it loose, create the contact, create the force fumble. And the ball's popped loose there. Um, and you can kind of see it. I'm going to rewind it quickly one more time in slow motion. Jamie and Sherwood right there. He comes up as he recognizes the run. His keys tell him run. He engages with the center. He sheds the block of that center pretty violently. Uh, that's the kind of contact you want to see. And then he wraps up the running back for the stop. Yes, I get it. It's a few yards downfield. Um, but he makes the play. He stops him short of the goal line uh, by a, a few yards there. It would have been gain, a gain of about four or so, four or five. Uh, but he sets it up to wrap up the running back and allows Hamza to come in and force the fumble. Um, and I do have a little bit of a uh, slow motion aspect of it here to where you can see engaged, shed the block, wrap up here make the play and Hamza comes in Hamza Najaldeen comes in and textbook play by Hamza Najaldeen to jar the ball loose with essentially his face mask which is uh, what you want to do when you're coming in to make the hit last play again I'll do another recap special teams hustle down the field make the big hit two Reed recognize the wide receiver screen, keep inside leverage, make the initial contact, make the tackle for a gain of three. Use your play speed. Three, run game at the uh, first and seven, first and goal on the seven. Engage with a center on, uh, on a run. First of all, use your keys to recognize the run. Engage with the center, shed the block. And then ultimately, at that point in time, wrap up the running back, be a part of a, a turnover a turnover play to give the, the offense the ball back. So three plays right there, kind of all in separate areas, showing things he could do right. And that's exactly what we're going to get here is a different area because it's going to be a pass breakup. And this, the most impressive play to me that he made probably all afternoon, um, I just did it in play order, so that's why it's last. But here, the Jets are going to be in a cover three. They're disguising with a too high look. Um, ultimately, the corner to the uh, to the field, he's got a deep third. The free safety, he's going to drop to the middle of the field and have the, the middle third. 
Boundary side corner, Brandon Eccles, he's got a deep third. The strong safety is going to drop down and be a hook defender, while Hamza Najuddin is the curl to flat. The other DB, curl to flat. And then our guy, Jamie and Sherwood, has is the other hook defender where he's going to drop to about 10 to 12 yards outside of the hash. And what the Giants come out in, they come out in a doubles formation, two by two. Um, and it's third and eight. And really, we're just going to focus on the number two receiver to the field, the slot receiver. He's just going to run to the sticks, to the uh, the first down marker, uh, give a stop, and sit there at the sticks waiting for the ball. Now, the ball's late, but Jamie and Sherwood is going to drop, and then he's going to make a play on this football, get his hands on it, and ultimately force a punt. And so if we play it here, the ball is late at this point in time. If, if we're being honest, um, it's late, probably should be out already. You can tell, um, I know it's the broadcast version, but you could tell he's kind of been the number two slot receiver. He's kind of been sitting and waiting for, for a period of time. And the ball comes out and it comes out high. And here's Jamie and Sherwood who, who goes to, to break it up. And I'll slow it down for you because it's a, probably a little bit easier to see it that way. Um, but you can see here, Jamie and Sherwood, the hook defender right here is dropping to outside of the hash marker. And once the ball lets loose from the quarterback's hands and we start to get him into the picture, there is Jamie and Sherwood right here. Ball is high, and he's got some range to cover. He's got some ground to cover, um, and he uses his athleticism there to ultimately break this pass up um, in diving fashion. He jumps, dives, gets the ball, um, gets his hands on the ball, and um, forces a, a punt. If you watch the game in real time, after the punt, I think they slowed it down to see if the receiver either dropped it or someone, a defender, had gotten their hands on it. And in fact, Jamian did uh, grab a piece of the football uh, to ultimately make it a um, near impossible catch for, for this wide receiver. Um, and so when you're creating value like that to make a diving play, uh, to break up a pass, uh, there's extreme value in potential there of being able to put you, you in the game on some passing situations play zone coverage, um, and we we know you have the ability, the range to knock down some passes. Impressive four plays by Jamie and Sherwood, and I'm looking forward to seeing him against Green Bay on Saturday.